I'm sorry to hear it, dude. You, uh, you made that film? It took you a long time. It cost you a lot of money, too, I heard. And you submitted it to that film festival, and they turned you down. I love it, I love it. So, this one is about getting rejected from a film festival, or film festivals, plural, like me. Uh, so, here is a, a little backstory on my experience with film festivals. I created a film, co-created a film called Best Been Sung from the Gutter with my good friend John Steinhorst and Ryan S. Johnson. And the film is unlike anything I've ever seen. It's spoken word uh, combined with narrative and it flies. And if you wanna go check it out, go to youtube.com slash urban home companion or just YouTube best when sung from the gutter and you'll, you'll get all of it. And uh, we, we uh, John had submitted it to a film festival here in Minneapolis and they said, hold, 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 we, 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 might, we might dig on this. And then they were like, no pass. A year later, we're still holding on to the, to the footage. And uh, he submits it to the same festival. Cuts it down even. Cuts it down. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we might, we might want this. Hey, don't release it publicly yet because we want to premiere it. John's like, all right, cool, got you. And then they turn it down. And what happened was that hold up held up us from premiering it. And, <clears throat> and, and I, that, that could be a little bit divisive in me saying that, but, but us waiting for the film festival was us waiting to premiere it. You know what I'm saying? So it's, we wanted to publicly premiere it, show it to friends, family, and the actors that were in it, but we can't do that because we're waiting to hear back from the film festival because we put stock in that film festival. My experience from that was bah humbug. And I then got it, I then got into a, I put meaning on the rejection and thought, oh, you know, this film must not be uh, up to grade, up to par, up to quality, yada, yada, yada. And released it, people thought it was effing awesome. It was amazing. And you can check it out right now. It's on YouTube. Um, but that being said, that was my experience. Then fast forward to two years later, I create a film called The Van Dusens. It's an episodic series about a family of four uh, dealing with mental health issues. Uh, racial disparity, all while dancing on the precipice of divorce. And that actually premieres June 27th at the Parkway Theater in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, I have a link. No, I won't have a link to tickets in the bottom. That's just not there. Uh, but that being said, so we made a consolidated version. There's 30 episodes, made like a 30-minute version of five episodes. And I got on the filmfreeway.com, and when I tell you I was just cranking it, mama, I was just... Boom, 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 boom. And Film Freeway is like, uh, it's like Amazon, but you get to purchase film festivals you submit to. And oh, goodness, I spent so much money in a very short amount of time at a coffee shop submitting to all these film festivals. And you know, you write up cover letters and all this stuff. This is that. And the third, you research who's organizing it and you say, hey, so and so. I really dug, you know, last year's film festival. I heard about it from my friend, blah, 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 blah. And I, I'm hoping that you dig what I'm sending out to you. Yes, take us. We want to be validated. And I think I submitted to maybe over 20, 30 film festivals. I've got accepted to one. One. And what I learned from it was... I let the rejection dictate how I felt about my film, about my art. And even furthermore, I let the rejection, I let the wait for the film festival dictate the release date for my project. And what, thank you, Max. That's Max, he's, he's helping me out with the mic. No, don't worry about that. We're, we're all here, we're all here, it's a vlog. Um, but I let that dictate the release date so not only is it, not only am I allowing the festival to kind of mess with the way I feel about my project, I'm letting it mess with the scheduling. 
And for some things, you know, that's perfectly normal. And, and, and for some people, that is the actual, like, hustle that they got to run. You, you're submitting to Seattle International Film Festival, Pan-African Fi Film Festival, Sundance, Tribeca. You got to make those moves. I mean, and if you've got a distributor as well and a studio behind it, yeah, you got to do that. For me as an independent filmmaker, not necessarily my dig. And the thing that I figured out is my hustle is different. And I, if I have a project that's in the realm of the Van Dusens or Best Man Sung from the Gutter, I'm just not going to do a film festival. I, again, we talk about time and energy and that being your most valuable resource. That time and energy for me for the next project and for the Van Dusens now goes into creating promo, creating trailers, outreach, you know, like enrolling people into the project and getting them invested in it for the release of it. And then also building a foundation for it to launch from. And for some people, that foundation has to be a film festival or su film festival submissions. Um, and, you know, the laurels, the little wreaths that go around it. But for me, I, I, that's, not, that's not my dig. That's not my process. That's not part of my process. And it took me experiencing the rejection or the just experience of it to realize that it, that's not worth my time and energy. Because waiting on somebody else's, you know, acceptance or rejection, it, it, it's just going to hold me up from getting the product out to the people. And it also puts me in a holding pattern to, with my editors and with you know, people that are doing color, people that are doing sound, and, and I, can't, I can't do that. I don't have the time or energy for that. So for me, the hustle has been, again, as I said earlier, getting down to creating a foundation for the project to launch from. And even some projects that make a lot of film festivals, they then just upload it to YouTube and they have little to no views. That may be their creative choice. They just wanted to make it and upload it. However, for me, my choice and the possibilities I want to create for my project is to get it in front of as many people as possible, to get that story resonating with people that, have, that may have lived that, lived that and say, hey, that, that was me. That actually happened to me. And to basically get into touch with um, the, the story that may be reflecting their lives and, and, and hopefully people find some help in that. So that is my... My, uh, my experience with film festivals. And if you've been rejected from a film festival, it is not the end of the world. Do not worry about it. It's gonna be okay. You have your biggest resource, which is you. You say you know, when and where the film premieres. You can find a theater in your town to release that sucker. You can resource people and work with people to, to get that thing out. And so uh, at the end of the day, that's really all you got, is your time and energy being put into your craft and your project. And that goes for albums as well. So, uh, good luck with that. And uh, <laughs> I love the phrase, good luck with that. It just sounds so dismissive. Uh, but I, I truly do wish you luck with your project. Like, I, I know that you've probably put a, a ton of work into it. It's your baby, it's tough. Maybe you wrote something, you filmed something, you recorded something, you want it to fly. And, it's up to you to make it fly. And don't ever count on you know, some film festival or, or music concert festival to validate that or not. So I do wish you the best of luck with it. Uh, if you want to check out or join the projects that I'm making right now, go to patreon.com slash Morrison. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next video.